Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video we will discuss in details about the bonding in solids, along with the different types of bonds including primary and secondary bonds with their classifications. This video is a part of our course on engineering materials and material science. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Bonding in solids. The attraction and repulsion forces that tend to hold the adjacent atoms or molecules or ions at a certain spacing to keep balance between the opposing forces are known as bonds. The process of holding these particles together is known as bonding in solids. Types of bonding. The various types of bonds in solid materials can be divided into two categories. Primary bonds and secondary bonds. Primary bonds. The electrostatic forces which keep the atoms of a solid together are known as primary bonds. These are also called interatomic bonds. The various types of primary bonds are ionic bonds, covalent bonds, and metallic bond. Let's discuss about them in details. Ionic bonds. In ionic bonds, atoms of different elements transfer electrons from one to the other so that both have stable outer shells and at the same time become ions, one positively charged and the other negatively charged. The binding force is strictly electrostatic. The major requirement in an ionic bonded material is that the number of positive charges should be equal to the number of negative charges. Sodium chloride, NaCl, is the classic ionic material. A sodium atom can assume the electron structure of neon, and a net single positive charge, by a transfer of its one valence threes electron to a chlorine atom. After such a transfer, the chlorine ion has a net negative charge and an electron configuration identical to that of argon. In sodium chloride, all the sodium and chlorine exist as ions. This type of bonding is illustrated schematically in this figure. Covalent bonds the type of bond resulting from sharing of pairs of valence electrons by two or more atoms is known as a covalent bond. Elements that form molecules with covalent bonding include those with four or more valence electrons that is the carbon, phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine families. Hydrogen is an exceptional case. It also enters into covalent bond with the above mentioned elements. In covalent bonding, Stable electron configurations are assumed by the sharing of electrons between adjacent atoms. Two atoms that are covalently bonded will each contribute at least one electron to the bond, and the shared electrons may be considered to belong to both atoms. Covalent bonding is schematically illustrated in this figure for a molecule of methane. The carbon atom has four valence electrons, whereas each of the four hydrogen atoms has a single valence electron. Each hydrogen atom can acquire a helium electron configuration, two one's valence electrons, when the carbon atom shares with it one electron. The carbon now has four additional shared electrons, one from each hydrogen, for a total of eight valence electrons, and the electron structure of neon. So, this is an example of covalent bond. Metallic bond. In this type of bond, Atoms of the same or different elements give up their valence electrons to form an electron gas or electron cloud or to say a sea of electrons throughout the space occupied by the atoms. Having given up the valence electrons, the atoms are, in reality, positive ions. This figure illustrates metallic bonding. These ions are held together by forces that are similar to those of ionic bond in that they are primarily electrostatic, but here between the ions and the electrons. This type of bond is the characteristics of the elements having low number of valence electrons say 1, 2 or at most 3. These electrons are loosely held by their atoms and therefore, can be easily released to the common pool to form a sea of electrons. Secondary bond. Secondary bond is also known as molecular bond or van der Waals bond. These bonds are very weak in comparison to primary bonds. Secondary bonds are formed in most materials but their effects often overseen due to strength of primary bonds. These bonds are not formed due to sharing or donating of electrons. Rather these bonds occur usually when uneven charge distribution occurs creating a dipole. 
Secondary bonds are formed due to polarization of electric charge in atoms which are very close to each other. Polarization in an atom is a separation of the centers of positive and negative charge due to the attraction of outer electron orbits in the atom to the positive nucleus of an adjacent atom. These bonds are formed for those elements or compounds whose electronic configuration is such that there is little transfer of electron between their atoms. Once a random dipole is formed on the first atom, an induced dipole is also formed due to it on the neighbor atom and the force acting between them is the van der Waals force. In other words, once a random dipole is formed in an atom, an induced dipole forms in adjacent atoms. This bonding is called van der Waals bonding. Example of secondary bonding is seen in nitrogen molecules. So, we have learned in details, about different types of bonds including primary and secondary bonds with their classifications. Thank you.